Kia ora. in this video we're going to have a look at using NZ Grapper to draw scatter graphs. So in this particular example I'm going to have a look at drawing a scatter graph. So I'm going to change the drop down here to scatter graph. Variable 1 on, is the variable that goes on our x-axis. Um, so that would be our explanatory variable. So I'm going to use stride length as my explanatory variable. And variable 2 is our response variable. So for this example, I'm going to use the minutes, which is the time taken to complete the marathon. So this gives me a nice scatter graph like that. I could come along and put in a third variable, for example, gender, which splits it up into two separate graphs, one for the females and one for the males. I can also color code the points. So I could color code them by the age group that the people are in, either older or younger, or I could um, do the gender, either female or male. I can come along and add extra features to the graph, so I could add in a regression line, which puts in a linear regression. I can add in point labels, which numbers the points, so I can see which point corresponds to which point in the data set. I can also hover over the points and it will highlight it in the data set as well. Putting in the mean dot puts in the mean of the stride length and the mean of the minutes, and the regression line will always go through that. I can put in some jitter so that um, is useful when you get data points which are all stacked on top of each other um, it just, just spreads them out slightly i can fit quadratic models cubic models exponential models um, logarithmic models and exponential models um, i can also fit in a dotted line for where y is equal to x which isn't particularly useful on this particular data set but for some things it can be uh, useful to look at um, if I was to split by stride, uh, by gender, I could then stack the graphs on top of each other. This means I can put in multiple regression lines and I can see how they compare to each other for the females and the males. I can also display grid lines, which puts grid lines on the graph. I can invert the color of the graph and I can make the lines thicker. I can also come in and add in a custom line. I'll get rid of my variable three now. What this allows me to do is drag these points around and the, uh, it will fit a line through them. This is particularly useful for uh, students at slightly lower levels where they are looking at um, exploring the data themselves and not formally fitting a model or it's also useful for um, the physics internals. I can also um, add in an extra line um, so I can try out multiple lines. Um, I can show the equations of these on the graph as well um, as needed. Um, the horizontal error bars and the vertical error bars I'm not going to go into in this video but they're useful for students who are doing the physics internals. Um, I can now come along and change my graph title and to update the graph I just press the update graph and then once I'm happy with it, I can right click on the graph and copy image and that will copy it over to whatever it is that I am working in, either a Google Doc or a Word document or whatever else it is that you're working in. I can adjust the point transparency so they become darker or lighter, which is useful for when you've got more heavy data sets and I can also adjust the size of the points so they're bigger or smaller. And that's um, creating graphs, scatter graphs on NZ Grapher.